First up on today, Katie Knox and Chloe Beck bring us a video about the SAT. Next, my co-anchor Tyler Garofalo and Andrew Reynolds bring us a story on the House of Representatives passing a bill to help support restaurants. And finally, Zach brings us a video, Black Lives Matter protests across Massachusetts. All that and more coming up next on Flyer News Remote. Happy Friday, Framingham. Welcome back to Flyer News Remote. Today is June 5th, our 86th day off from school. I'm Tyler Garofalo. And I'm Jay Atal. As this quarantine continues, many students may be wondering when or if they will be able to take the SAT. That's right. It is an important exam needed to get into some colleges. Flyer News correspondents Katie Knox and Chloe Beck have more on the story. For those who ran into technical issues during this year's online AP exams, good news has come from College Board this week. While originally College Board considered moving the SAT exams online due to the school closures from the COVID-19 outbreak, the idea has since been scrapped after the issues with the online AP exams angered thousands of students and earned the organization a hefty lawsuit. Holding the SATs online would mean that students would have to be connected to the internet for more than three hours, which serves as quite a problem for students nationwide who may have equity issues. Additionally, at-home tests open up a world of distractions for students who may have noisy siblings or parents, all stuck at home due to the pandemic. College Board tried their hand at online exams with their advanced placement classes, but students were left outraged when they were unable to submit their exams and were thus forced to retake them because of College Board's poor servers. The retakes just ended today and results will be out in mid-July, but no news yet on the $500 million lawsuit filed against them by students in California. As for the SATs, College Board hopes that schools will open and allow in-person testing and has opened up a test date in September to allow for more students to take the exams. March, May, and June SAT exams were all canceled due to the outbreak, and so more students will have to take their exams starting in August. The additional September date is only for students taking the traditional SAT, though SAT subject tests, which are shorter exams to test a student's ability in a certain subject, will still be held in August, October, and November as per usual. Though not all colleges have spoken out on the subject, many colleges are making their admissions test optional so as to help students who have been negatively affected by the virus and who may not have access to testing. Tufts University even went as far as going test optional for the next three years. We will keep you updated as more news regarding College Board testing as well as their pending lawsuit arises. Reporting for Flyer News, this is Katie Knox and Colby Beck. If any of you class of 2020 seniors or their families are watching this, you may have been disappointed by having no graduation ceremony in person. Though St. Bridget's School in Framingham was able to do just that. They held a socially distant graduation ceremony for their class of 2020, who are a group of 27 8th graders. It was held yesterday on Thursday morning. All of the students were distanced apart. It was nice to see the innovative ways to have graduation. Though for the FHS class of 2020, it is way larger than 28 people, and social distancing everyone during graduation might be difficult. Though on the bright side, you students of the FHS class of 2020 may be able to go to the outdoor graduation announced by Principal Banach and the Seniors Vice Principal, Mr. Lagan, on August 12th at 6 p.m. If you're interested in checking out the video of the announcement, go to the Framingham source. Zoom is used by a lot of schools and businesses to allow more people to be in one meeting. Because of the pandemic, Zoom has had their revenue rise exponentially. However, other countries want the same. Teams, a Microsoft video chatting app, previously only allowed nine tabs shown at once in a meeting. Recently, however, Microsoft announced that it would be adding up to 49 camera tabs shown at once on the screen, equaling the amount Zoom currently has. But they haven't announced when it was coming out, and people are speculating that Teams wants to ensure that their software is just as good or better than Zoom's. Recently, the Massachusetts House of Representatives have passed a bill to aid local restaurants with financial issues. 
It's an addition to the previous actions done to help restaurants, and it is also allowing alcohol delivery with meals. With more on this topic, we have my co-anchor Tyler Garofalo and Andrew Reynolds. Recently, the Mass House of Representatives have passed a bill to aid local restaurants with financial issues. It's in addition to the previous actions done to help restaurants and also allowing alcohol delivery with meals. Restaurants have been struggling because of the pandemic, some of them closing permanently. This bill is put in place to help restaurants fully recover once this is all over. However, with these changes, the restaurants must contact major organizations for the permission to both serve alcoholic beverages and host outdoor seating. Especially in Massachusetts, we rely so much on restaurant businesses to keep the economy booming. So we need to make sure that they can survive. The bill helps restaurants to operate normally, such as punishments for delivering late and permission to deliver cocktails. Communities around the state will benefit from this bill and how it helps the local restaurants. All over the nation, there has been an increase on the topic of the Black Lives Matter movement. Yes, and it all sparked over the completely outrageous murder of George Floyd by a police officer in Minneapolis. Ever since, there have been countless protests across the country in reaction to George's murder. While many have been peaceful, unfortunately, some have not. With more information on this topic, we have Zachary Clayton. Last Wednesday afternoon, a peaceful Black Lives Matter march occurred in Framingham. The march started at Village Green and ended in front of City Hall. The march lasted only a few hours and ended early afternoon. After they reached City Hall, they laid down on the ground for nine minutes. This symbolizes the nine minutes George Floyd was pinned down on the sidewalk before he died. The march included young people as well as a few officers. The organizers of this protest stressed the idea that they wanted to keep it peaceful, indicating that no rioting or looting was allowed. This is not the only protest that occurred in Massachusetts. Last Tuesday in Franklin, over 1,000 people gathered in a protest for Black Lives Matter, kneeling for nine minutes. There was also another protest in Holliston organized by high school students, which had a turnout of over 250 people. Governor Charlie Baker recognizes the fact that these protests could have higher chances to spread COVID-19, but stated that he has no intention to discourage these protests. This has been Zachary Clayton reporting for Flyer News. That's all for today's episode of Flyer News. Feel free to like this video and subscribe if you're interested in seeing new content for our last few weeks. Make sure to follow us on Instagram at Flyer underscore news for updates and behind the scenes photos. For Flyer News, I'm Tyler Garofalo. And I'm Jay Atal. Stay home and stay safe, everyone. Have a great Friday, Framingham. Thank you.